Welcome to Blue Reef Aquarium Centre, Nuki. Let's go and have a guided tour. Happy days. Come on in, you two. Check out that one, look. You don't want to mess around with that, would you? Pretty awesome place to come. Down in Nuki. The endangered species I was on about. You wouldn't want to mess with them, would you, on a Saturday night? Down, da da down. This is the best thing about it, isn't it? The massive shot above you. I think I found Nemo. The question is, which one's Nemo? That shark, that's wicked. Tall fish that is down there. He'll bite out for sure. Always does. Look if you're ever down there. Blue Reef, new key. Happy days. And that's the biggest pasty I can find. Check that out, boy. Right then. Here we go, something a bit different. Check out these new species. Have you ever seen one like that before? Have you ever seen one like that? Right, welcome to Blue Reef Aquarium Centre, Nuki. Let's go and have a guided tour. Happy days. Come on in, you two little fish. <laughs> Check it out. Let's go on then, let's have a look. Right then, so uh, we're at the Sea Life Centre today. Thought I'd just show you something different while we're here. Take you on a bit of a tour and show you some of these wicked fish they got. Absolutely mental. Jake, stand next to some of them, put your hand next to them, show them the actual size. They're humongous. That dude, we got an idea. Watch out, look at that stingray look. That looks mega. I know it's a bit of different content than usual, but I wanted to share it with you because uh, it's all fish related at the end of the day. Absolutely mega that. That looks wicked. Check out that one there. Water is crystal clear. That would be a wicked creep on, wouldn't it? It's epic. Looks like we're going in here. We're going in here. That's pretty impressive as well, isn't it? It's interesting to know how thick the glass is on some of these tanks. I know everyone's concerned about how thick you should have the glass on your pond window in a koi pond. A lot of the glass I've seen here is only 22 mil glass anyway, so uh, just shows if the professionals can do it. I don't see why we can't, but that being said, wicked piranhas in here. These red bellies, red belly piranha, sweet. A few kids have been left behind by the looks of it. Don't know if you two want to go in there and see what happens. Do you want to go in there? No. Yeah, come look over here. I'm going to set. What have you found in there, Mum? Clouded archer fish. Look pretty cool, to be fair. So this must be the Amazon room because it feels certainly hot in here. Very impressive in here, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll get up there in a minute. Is there a crocodile was there? That's loads of cichlids. You had some of them too. Yeah, I had one of them. That's the ones that you bred in your uh, in your tank. Yeah. Wicked turtles as well, isn't it? That's that's a real busy tank. That is. Be um, well impressed to have a look at their filtration systems, what they use here. This is wicked. What's making that noise anyway? Look at that, look. Wow, there's one there as well. Surprised they don't eat the fish. You certainly feel the temperature in here, can't you? Oh, check that out, look. Oh, there's wicked. Blue lobster. We used to have one of them. Just been fed with a load of blood worms by the looks of it. But I'll say, all these tanks are absolutely crystal clear. What's in there? The hell is that? Some sort of frog, I would have said. 
I'm not sure. That's what it is. Whatever that is. Strange. Blue crayfish. What do you reckon, boys, in here? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. So when you're looking at this, look, this whole tank, the way it's built, all the way around, just all glass, no structure, sealed up with silicone, and that's got to be some volume of water in there. Let's go down and have a look down from the bottom a minute, since we're going up through. There he is, look. Check that out. He looks like he's ready to go, doesn't he? That's a fair old beast as well. Looks like he's just hunting for food. Couple of turtles. Not sure what they are. Apparently a busy old tank anyway. Check out that water dragon, just been informed that it's called a water dragon. Check that out for an octopus then. <laughs> you don't want to mess around with that, would you? Size of that thing. Going up the glass. Loads going on. Wonder what's in this next bit then. Go on in there then, Jake. Oh look, starfish there. Sweet. Dum da da dum. Pretty awesome place to come. Down in Newquay. Definitely worth a look round if you're down here for a day out. Oh, look at the is, that, is that Nemo or Dolly? What's them called, Toe? Dolly? What's them called? Of Dora, that's it. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? <laughs> well, I never really watched the film, to be fair. Creatures that I've never seen one of them before. Have you seen one of them before? It's a new species, isn't it? <laughs> There's another one as well. I haven't seen that species before. Anyone else seen one like that before? That there's pretty wicked, whatever that was then. Check them out. That is mental. These are the fish that can uh, kill you, isn't they? I'm not sure. I remember seeing one on Juice Bigelow Mel Gigolo. <laughs> Sweet. Check that out, it is proper cool that. He looks a bit grumpy, to be fair. You wouldn't want to mess with him, would you, on a Saturday night? Not sure about that. Getting, um, shark teeth. Are you getting a shark teeth? What have you got, then? I'm going to show the, show the subscribers. Need some help there. You got two or three of them in there. Ain't bad for a quid, is it? Can't grumble at that. I do. That's the endangered species I was on about. I found it. Right there. <laughs> this is Nemo fish, isn't it? Oh. I stick with me koi, I think. I know me koi. They do look wicked, though. Some wicked corals, though. Any of you reef keepers out there? Some sweet corals. Mm. 
I thought about doing a salt water tank myself, but I have already this mega uh, hard to to get right, so uh, I've stayed away from it for a while. When you see them like this, though, it's mega this, isn't it? Dad. Absolutely mental. I see a new picture, Dad. You do? You might be able to see it in your reflection. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Not pretty impressive, very impressive, to be fair. You've got to give credit where credit's due. That must take some work to look after that. Look at these corals, look. Mental, all living corals. This is the best thing about it, isn't it? Now that's what you call a view. So just a minute ago we were underneath this tunnel, walked underneath. The weight of water on that must be absolutely unbelievable, but well, must be made of some sort of acrylic or something. There's a turtle. Well, there's the turtle down there. The fish oil. Is that the actual turtle, is it? Yeah. Why does it look dead? I think it's the I same tail as last time. Might be safe. Yeah, yeah. Last sure. one was huge. This is pretty awesome, though, isn't it? If you get right in there and stand either side, and it'll give people a bit of an idea how big this tank is. The massive shot ab above you. Stand either side, I say. Stand that side. That's pretty <laughs> impressive, isn't it? There's two fish in here, can you spot them? No? That's one. And that's one. Two stonefish. Strange, aren't they? Oh, I think Mrs. Whisper is in there as well. <laughs> Look at all these tanks up here. I think I found Nemo. The question is, which one's Nemo? That's why it's called Finding Nemo. That's why it's called Finding Nemo, exactly right. Where is he to then? First one that comes to me is Nemo. Come on, Nemo. Nemo. Dad. Nemo. You can definitely tell it's the same part as last one. There he is. There's Nemo. And from up here, we'll spend the next half an hour here. What do you reckon? Koi, koi pond or soap water? Soap water. You can cover, you can get a seat That definitely is the same as last time. Is that some sort of puffer fish on top? Yeah, it has to be. The sharks go by. They got a stingray. There used to be a massive stingray, didn't there? I wonder how many gallon of water is in here. Do you reckon you'd have a rough idea? How, many, how much gallons is yours? I might ask. Write it down in the comment section. How many gallon of water do you reckon is in here? And I'll see if I can find out. I can't guarantee it, but I'll see if I can find out. I'll ask somebody. I reckon there's got to be at least... At least... 20k gallon, I reckon. 2,500. I reckon... 25k. It's a lot of water. It's deep as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Not sure in here, but we'll have a look. This is huge. 
that shark, that's wicked. It's certainly not overstocked though, is it, for the size? Like I said, I'd be proper keen to have a look at the filtration systems they use on these type of uh, systems they've got in here. Bit of behind the scenes, but I don't think they'll let me do that, but it would be interesting. I wonder what sort of fish that is down there. <laughs> you recognise that fish? <laughs> Don't have a clue. Looks funny though, doesn't it? That one is mental. What do you reckon to get the spinner on and see if you can catch him? Well, that was definitely worth a quick look round. When I say quick, very quick, but um, still burnt an hour. Now it's time for the boys to have a quick look in here. So, you ain't interested in this anymore, is he, boy? <laughs> He'll buy something for sure. Always does. Absolutely fantastic day. Lovely little tour. Now time to chill out and get up in the town. And let Mrs. Whisper spend some money. <laughs> what do you reckon, boys? Get up and get a pasty or what? Sausage roll. Sausage roll, when you would rather have a Cornish pasty, a proper Cornish pasty. No, I'm not a pasty person, Dad. <laughs> right, hell of a view. Pop down and have a look if you're ever down there. Blue Reef, Nuki. Happy days. Right. You ain't in Cornwall unless you get a pasty. I've been hunting the whole of Nuki, and that's the biggest pasty I can find. Check that out, boy. That's the hammer. That is the hammer. 